Peyton's going to be good. It's just going to be a long, long road for her to get to get healthy. A teenage cheerleader recovering after she shot, returning from practice, her teammate wounded. Now a man faces charges. I'm Anjanette Levy, and thanks for joining us here on Law and Crime. Police say Peyton Washington was shot just after midnight on Tuesday in the parking lot of a grocery store in Elgin, Texas, that's near Austin. Fellow cheerleader Heather Roth said the parking lot is where they typically met to carpool. Roth described what happened when she then got into her friend's car. I just saw like a black figure in the passenger seat and I shut the door as fast as I could and I jumped back in Keanu's car and I was like, there's someone in my car right now, like, we gotta go. And so as we're backing up, I see the guy get out of the passenger door and I roll my window down um, and I was trying to apologize to him for accidentally getting in the wrong car. I didn't get in the car, I just opened the door. Halfway my window was down, he just threw his hands up and then he pulled out a gun and then he just started shooting at all of us and I rolled the window up and I just tried to like get down and just do whatever I could and then th this was all probably in like a two minute period. Right after that happened we're backing out and then he shoots out the car, shatters the front passenger window and then I felt I had a bullet graze my leg. Roth said that her friend called 911 and then drove off. They pulled over a short distance away. Like pulled over, uh, Peyton opens the door and starts uh, throwing up blood. EMTs treated Heather Roth at the scene. Peyton Washington was flown to a hospital with serious injuries. She was shot on the left side through her back. Um, if you don't know anything about Peyton, she has one lung, so. We were really worried on that one left side where her one lung is, that that was the part that was, I mean, that could have been very, very bad, but we we're very lucky it did miss her, her lung. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help Peyton Washington's family pay her medical bills. Meanwhile, police say 25-year-old Pedro Teo Rodriguez is the man who fired at the cheerleaders. He now faces three counts of deadly conduct in the third degree, with more charges likely. This marks the third time in a week in the United States that a person was shot by someone who made a mistake. In upstate New York, a man shot 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis after her friend pulled into the wrong driveway. In Kansas City, a homeowner shot 16-year-old Ralph Yarl when he went to the wrong house. For Law and Crime, I'm Anjanette Levy.